Back with another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand for you. Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. Have the pleasure now to be joined by a good friend of SVG from the Great White North. He's Kevin Cottom. He's Director of Sports and Live Events for Ross Video. Kevin, it's great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, normally, we're running into you at a stadium at a big event somewhere. Hopefully, we'll be doing that again sometime soon. Uh, but otherwise, how are you and the team holding up? Uh, you know what? It's uh, Everybody's doing well. Uh, you know, good to, good to talk to you. Good to see you. It's been a while. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're running into each other at all these different events everywhere. You know, <laughs> right. it's a different thing, uh, you know, working from home, but, uh, but he's doing well. Um, you know, the, the, the team has adjusted well to working at home. We're doing a lot of remote work, obviously, but, uh, you know, yeah, I think things are going well. Um, okay. you know, actually starting to get out a little bit more and actually do the, you know, the, like starting to deploy onsite services. So it's nice to see things starting, starting to lighten up a little bit, but, uh, but yeah, things are going very well. Good. How, good. How's everything? Yeah, yeah, we're, ha we're, we're hanging in there well. We're doing okay. It's great. Always great to see faces like yours uh, when you're working from home. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good change of pace. Um, I, and of course, none of this is, to imply, is not to imply that you guys are not exceptionally busy right now. I'm sure most people in the industry are well aware of the Ross Live 2020 program that you guys have been running. Uh, Ten weeks of, of uh, product rollouts and more information from you and David and the team at Ross. Uh, what's this project been like, and wh what have you really tried to focus on during this uh, uh, kind of unique effort that you guys have taken? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, like you mentioned, Ross Live uh, Live 2020. It's a comprehensive 10-week program of product launches um, and leader, you know, thought leadership uh, campaign. Right. So, um, really, it's you know, uh, obviously, NAB did, was canceled this year. We've got a, you know, we'll strive to uh, to have a lot of different product launches and feature launches at feature launches at uh, at NAB. Um, so we, you know, we ended up developing this program and instead of having it all within a week or, you know, um, you know, sort of a, a condensed format like NAB, we spread it out over 10 weeks. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great, uh, you know, it, well, it's really been very well, you know, um, accepted very well. There's been a lot of people logging in to check things out live and also on demand. So, um, uh, but yeah, it's a comprehensive program. It started in late April. It's going to run through till, uh, you know, sort of middle of, uh, middle of July, uh, with all our product pieces and feature enhancements, feature sets and things like that. So. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's going very well. Um, you know, check out rossvideo.com. It's on the landing page, um, register for any events coming up or check out the ones that have already happened. You know, it's all on demand. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's a great program. We've got, you know, expression uh, version 10 releases. We've got, uh, well, I can only mention the ones that we've actually, you know, already deployed. Because You're right, right. You can't spoil it. Mention anything that's happening in, uh, you know, you know, any, anywhere, you know, past today, but, uh, but, you know, it, it, we've already done uh, the expression version 10. We've done some, um, you know, carbonite ultra feature releases um, with rave audio, things like that. Uh, Les O'Reilly was on uh, uh, producing that one. Um, we've got, uh, you know, a lot of different things coming and there's, you know, there's some pretty cool things that are going to happen near the end. And a lot of them are sports related. Absolutely. So um, yeah, something to definitely check out is Andrew Sampson, who's our uh, technical solution manager. He's got uh, his session is on May 26th at 11 AM. And also Cameron Reed, um, who is the esports business development manager with, uh, with the sports and live events team. He's uh, he's got his session on July 7th at 11 AM uh, Eastern time. So, you know, make sure to check those out there. Uh, you know, both of these guys have a lot of knowledge in the space space for both, you know, sports venue production as well as esports production. And, you know, they've got some, uh, some great, uh, great information teed up for everybody. Yeah, no, it's really cool stuff. I, I know that there's still plenty of announcements to come in the weeks ahead. Uh, did want to follow up with you on expression. I mean, it's a wildly popular platform. So many people in the sports video industry from pro down to college uh, use it, whether in venue or for their live event productions. Um, for those, so for those who maybe haven't seen um, the really high level points of what's new there, uh, what's kind of refreshed here in this new version of Expression? Oh boy, there's uh, you know there's a lot. Uh, the Expression team they're always cranking it out. That development team I can't I you know I, I'm amazed <laughs> at what they do. Um, you know they they typically have you know a couple of product or uh, sorry software launches a year. Um, version ten I think some some of the highlights I guess would be uh, you know HDR uh, UHD codec. Um, so it's a brand new codec for the Expression. Uh, the expression platform uh, you know, it allows you the ability to import, you know, HDR content, HLG um, content, uh, as well as UHD, right? So, um, you know, that's sort of the highlights. But there's all kinds of smaller, you know, all kinds of little tweaks and changes that they've uh, that they've made to the, uh, you know, to the system, um, especially for sports and live event workflow and venue workflows. Um, there is a ton in there, um, right from you know clip splicing for really, you know, we're, as you know, with expression tesser, we're driving really large format LED. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, they've got clip splicing in there so you can throw any size clip in it'll actually you know divide it up and, and split it out to uh to all the different uh, render engines things like that there's just a host of different features so uh, pretty excited i think hdr though is one of the bigger ones um mm -hmm. you know the term hdr has been thrown thrown around a lot in the last few years um we've we've actually worked on several projects in the last few years that are hdr and it's a little more challenging than people think um you know it, it's kind of thrown around it's something you know kind of easy to do and uh, but it is there is a challenge there with the workflows and, and how you create content moving from a rec 709 uh, color space to a rec 2020 uh, that's not really hdr but it's 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 changing that color space if um, if you want to include that with uh, you know with your new content so it's been a lot of challenges and uh, we, we've come to be pretty uh, you know familiar with the process and somewhat experts on it um, so it's one of the bigger enhancements that's going to be available with expression in the past we've been able to to you know basically convert from an SDR to HDR on expression um, and, and, and output, you know, HDR 2020, uh, Rec 2020. Um, but now we're able to import content, do everything, but it's still kind of, you know, a, a little tricky in that sense for importing content uh, for most systems. So again, it is, you know, it's a little tricky, but expression, I think that's one of the bigger things with expression uh, that is coming out in version 10. For sure, it sounds really exciting. Uh, we may still not have most live sports back, but that has not kept from some of the biggest stadium projects uh, in the country in recent times from continuing to go on. Most notably, um, Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, still under construction and anticipated to open this year. SoFi Stadium in LA, uh, both projects that you guys are heavily involved in. I mean, that we've, uh, we've seen the Oculus board get lit up. Uh, at SoFi, the Rams used it as part of their schedule announcement. Um, yeah. Definitely catches people's eyes, to say the least. Um, oh, 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 so you guys are still heavy at work on some two pretty big launches right there, and there's more, I'm sure, that you're also working on. Uh, what can you tell us about some of the, the really big stadium projects, Oculus Board maybe most notably, um, that you guys are working on right now? What are some of the big things you're tackling? Uh, well, you know, we, uh, as you mentioned, there, there's all kinds of projects that are happening, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, you know, with COVID-19 and things, you know, slowing down, lock, you know, being locked down, people working from home, um, you know, a lot of these projects are still considered, uh, you know, essential services because they are construction. So they've, they've moved forward. Um, timelines have not changed. Mm -hmm. um, they've shifted a little bit, but the people are still pushing forward. Everybody's trying to get these, uh, these projects completed. Um, which is great, right? It's it's nice to you know. I know we all need to be safe and uh, you know cautious and safe with uh, with what's going on in the world, but you know life has to move on, right? So so that's great that uh, that things are moving. Um, we're working with the the Cincinnati Reds at Great American Ballpark. Uh, that's a full control room uh, display control renovation, uh, Dactronics displays, and we're the control system. Uh, so we're driving all the content for the displays. That is an HDR system, as uh, you know. I just mentioned a little bit about HDR. Um, so that is a, now a, you know that that's going to be a full HDR deployment. Uh, we're also working with Diversified on that. So Diversified is doing the control room renovation and the integration. And uh, Dactronics is, again, the, uh, the display manufacturer or the control system for that. Um, yeah, you mentioned the Allegiant Stadium. That's moving along. We've got people on site this week that are commissioning the system. Uh, everything seems to be going quite well in that fashion. They're also using you know, our unified uh, venue control system. So uh, you know, full control room suite, uh, display control, as well as uh, you know, the venue control with dashboard. We're driving you know, the, not only the control room production, but all the displays. Um, throughout the facility, um, you know, the exterior displays, concourse, the work. So it's, it, it really is a, a, a full Ross workflow. And then, of course, you mentioned SoFi, right? Um, that's pretty, uh, pretty awesome, that Oculus. It's, yeah. uh, you know, I, uh, I can't recall exactly how many engines, but, uh, but it takes quite a bit of, uh, you know, quite a few outputs to drive that full uh, Oculus display, right? It's, you know, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah, the sideline, the end zone exterior, as well as the interior of that display. Um, and they did, uh, they, they lit it up, uh, what, I guess about a week and a half ago, um, which is pretty awesome. So everything's moving along there. They're starting to hoist it now. It's going to be another few weeks before it's, uh, you know, uh, fully raised and then it's going to stay there forever. But, uh, but yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's great to see that uh, a lot of leagues are getting back to it. And they're, they're starting, well, they're not back to it yet, but they're starting to figure out how they're going to start playing again. Not having fans in the seats is, you know, is not something, uh, it's not ideal, but at least we're, we're you know, we're starting to, uh, to get back to you know somewhat whatever the new normal is so yeah. Uh, but yeah a lot of exciting projects can't wait to get these things off the ground can't wait to get you know be with uh, be with our fans our, our friends our partners our uh, you know everybody back in these stadiums and, and enjoying uh, you know live events again
Yes, we're certainly looking forward to it, and hopefully it's uh, somewhere soon down the road. But uh, you guys are still plenty busy and pl doing plenty of exciting things, so we appreciate uh, at SVG everything that you guys at Ross are doing to help not only get this industry back, but get it back safely. So uh, thanks for everything you guys do. Yeah, hey, Brandon, I appreciate it. Love, uh, love what you guys do as well. It's, uh, it's a great relationship. Thank you. All right. Well, he is Kevin Cottom, Director of Sports and Live Events for Ross Video. Again, remember to go to rossvideo.com if you want to sign up to be a part of the Ross Live 2020 program. If you haven't done that already, definitely get on that. Uh, and also visit sportsvideo.org for the latest from our SVG Sports Tech on-demand series. <laughs>